The ground designed so that all kids can play equally. An inclusive playground will soon be coming to the city of Richardson. And as Brooke Rogers reports, for some parents, it's a game changer. You may not be able to see the barriers at Cottonwood Park in Richardson, but Stephanie Pereski okay. does. There's just not a lot of places where kids of all abilities can get together and play. Her five year old son Solomon was born with spina bifida and uses a wheelchair or walker. They have to drive across the Metroplex to find a park where he can play independently. The old playground is considered ADA accessible, but is not necessarily easy to navigate. Take this ramp that stops short and goes straight into wood chips. So the new inclusive playground that will be built here will be breaking ground in more ways than one. We'll have ramping structures on the playground that will enable not only kids with mobility challenges, but also adults. Plus a sensory rich design with smooth rubber surfacing and hopefully a fence. A playground destination for any child, including those with limited mobility, sensory or developmental challenges. This is a way of life for us. We have to think every day, how are we going to function in society? And for children that are even younger than my children, they now have somewhere they can have a birthday party, a family function. The inclusive playground is a collaboration between the city and Richardson East Rotary Club. Its $250,000 price tag will be funded by bond money and private donations. For moms like Dina Al Said, whose son Abe has autism, it's more than a place to play. It helps children understand that each one is different. And that it's okay to be friends with someone that doesn't look like you or walk the same way as you. And so that's really, I think, all important for everybody to learn. In Richardson, Brooke Rogers, CBS 11 News. Construction on the inclusive playground should start sometime in 2019. Members of the community will help to build it. And this is so important. All children deserve a place where they can just be kids and no, have fun. No question about that. And any attempt to make that happen is a great thing. It sure is. All right.